first, let's kick it off in Lilburn. That is where rain and flash flooding from remnants of Delta caused a train derailment. Hope Ford is on the scene for us tonight with the very latest. Yeah, that's right. Crews have been working to remove those uh, rail cars, the locomotives and the hazardous materials from that train that derailed this morning. About 40 cars uh, jumped the tracks early this morning. And as we're, we're, we're on Main Street right now, and there is a parking lot filled with uh, crews from CSX, filled with uh, Lilburn police and, and others who are out here. And they have been kind of coming back to this area as they're going back and forth, working throughout, uh, really throughout the, the, the morning, the afternoon, and probably into tonight. So we have some pictures that we want to show you that really show the massive amount of damage from the derailment, which caused chemical spills and a fire. Lilburn police, they were able to help an engineer and a conductor escape from, from the derailment. They did go to the hospital. We are, we have been told that they are okay. And neighbors in a half mile radius around uh, were, were evacuated for several hours. They were able to return home around six this morning. And right now this road, Main Street, uh, part of Main Street, Lilburn City Park and the Green Ray Trails and several roads around the derailment remain closed. I talked to a CSX earlier today. A CSX spokesperson said that two of the rail cars contained ethanol, and those were the rail cars that were breached. So that was the hazardous material. And CSX, CSX is working with environmental companies to help clean up the area. And they, again, they have been coming back and forth to this parking lot for the past couple of, uh, really throughout the day. And it uh, looks like they're pretty much set up to continue to work throughout the night. So we're still waiting on CSX to give us an estimate on how long they think that that will take and how long all of these areas will be closed to the public.